know, today I'm going to do another story time. So today's story time will be real quick. It's actually kind of short. It is good because I actually got somewhere to go. There you go. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think it's so cute. I had my I had my joint like this. Hold up. It was real, real cute. Hold on. No, it was like this. You can see that back tech. Period. So, for some reason, I'm not going to write today. I don't know why. But I already hear you. So, today I'm going to be doing a story time about the time I went to this boy and he was so dirty. Like, it was. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Wait, see, it, was, it was when I was in high school. I think I was in 9th or 10th grade. So this boy, let me just get to it, whatever. So when I first uh, came to my high school or whatever, I was like fairly new, nobody really knew me. Um, they just knew, I, used, I don't know, for some reason, they just knew I used to be down Southwest, that's it. So some girl I used to be with, she was from Southwest, she lived in Southwest, so when I was new to my high school or whatever, I used to just always be with her, because I was with her in middle school, and that's just what it was or whatever. So a lot of people was like knew us, oh, and they knew me because I was fighting a lot. So I think I fought some girl my freshman year and then I fought some girl my when I was in 10th grade. I actually really think it was ninth grade year. I really don't remember. It was between ninth and 10th or whatever. So people knew because I was fighting and then because I knew that's how I was, I don't know, they didn't even remember. So um anyways, so it was this boy and he was in 12th grade and I was I really think strongly no it was some grade, I think. Yeah, I really think no, it was ninth grade because I was fighting some girl. When I fought the girl, I had to get pushed over to the other side. Like it was just a big thing. I was fighting a girl. I had to go to court. I had to get community, community service because the lady, the teacher was like when I was fighting her, whatever. I'm not gonna catch I did this because we fought the week before. It's long story, but we fought the week before and I'm gonna fight her again, so we fought again and um I guess I kinda started it because I got up when I saw my hair first, but that's not really how I like. I don't know how we started. I figured we started. But anyway, yeah, so I had fought this girl or whatever, and they had switched me over to a different team or whatever. And um, I remember because when I came back, not even matter. Anyways, I was in ninth grade. The boy was in like 11th or 12th grade. I strongly think it was 12th because the year after he wasn't still in my school. So I think it was he was in 12th grade. So, everybody know, like, when you a freshman and a senior trying to fuck with you, they really just trying to fuck. Like, at the time, I didn't really know because, like I said before, I don't, like, I talk to other people before, but it's, like, never on no, like, I'm really selective of who I'm going to talk to. So, it's not, like, I had, like, a whole bunch of experience or whatever. And, like I said, I only had two boyfriends throughout my whole life. And throughout that time, I only had one. The boy I was talking about, and, like, the boy I, uh, the boy I'm talking about, he's always locked up. So, it was really just him or whatever. So anyway, um, so one time like we started texting or whatever, and it's funny because it's like I don't know, like y'all think about it, like why would a ninth grader and why would a twelfth grader want to fuck with somebody like a freshman? Like I don't know. So um, yeah, we was texting or whatever, and we was texting, we was texting, we was talking and shit. So one time I went outside. And he was like, uh, we were going to continue. I'm like, you know, I was going to feel that. So he didn't live too far. I think I met him halfway. Like, I walked, I met him halfway. And we walked back to his house together. So we had to be texted. Like I said, this story going to be real, real, real short. It's not nothing like too crazy long because after this, he was a fucking weirdo. So we was texting for a little bit. And then like, I was like, all right, I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to come chill with you, whatever. Because he didn't come chill with him. So I'm like, all right. So we walking back to his house. We talking and whatever. First of all, beginning there, it's a whole bunch of niggas in there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why is it a billion niggas in there? They all damn fit in the house. It looked like the fucking trash. Like, it was so many. It was a whole bunch of niggas, but it was niggas in there other than him. And I'm like, why the fuck? Like, I don't know, sometimes niggas be doing too much. Oh, good, really not funny. So, yeah. So I'm sitting downstairs on his couch. And first of all, we get there. He live on like a main road. Like his, it was just, it was just, I don't know. China was just doing too fucking much. Being a fucking fresh over. Not even really fresh, but like, I don't know. 
So we went to this house or whatever. Nigga was there. And I'm like, why why are your friends here if we supposed to be telling? Like, and I hope we're not telling them we about to do nothing because we're not. So um I'm sitting down, like we just uh, we sitting down in the living room. It's like one of his friends like sitting on the couch right here. I'm sitting on this couch. His other friend is like in a dining room in the kitchen and just I don't know this doing shit or whatever. So I'm on my phone talking to my friend. So I'm sitting on his couch, right? And I feel like all this, I feel this. Let me just put this down. I don't even need to put my earphones. I feel something like this up against my back. So I'm sitting on his couch, and this is why now when I go see people, not even just niggas. I don't even go to niggas. When I go over anybody's house that I'm not familiar with, I don't sit all the way back like this on these stuff because it's like, you don't know what they have. So I was on his couch and he got like something on my back like this. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like touching my back and I'm like, what is that? So then, I'm like, okay, you don't get tripping. I'm still sitting and so I'm not this. Know, but so I see like the end of my couch where the back of my knee where I'm doing shit. So I feel the same thing on the back of my knee. So I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga must have did bug or something. I sit up a little bit more. I sit up on top of the leaves. And you know how when you tell with somebody that you don't want to chill with, like you tell your friends, girl, call me like like call my friend because I'm with you, girl. So I'm gonna miss a text my friend like girl, this nigga is dirty as fuck. I don't know what the fuck is going on in my back. I don't know what he got, but it's biting my back up. Like, this shit is bite, taking my back out. Taking it out. Now it's taking my fucking ankles out. So, we end up going to his room. Mind you, he got a little ass room. Like, he got like a box, like, room little shit. So, it was like, his room real small. His closet right here. His bed right here. And he got like this much walkway. Like it's really, 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 really small. Like his bed took up his whole room, basically. So we sit in there, whatever. We go back downstairs. And I'm just like, I'm just like so amazed that I was really just getting set up on his fucking couch. So he going downstairs, come back up. I'm still sitting on the edge of the bed, like just sitting on the edge of the bed or whatever. So he come in and he like, oh my god, I'll really destroy your little ass. And I'm just like, I hate when niggas be trying to like do too much. First of all, I'm not fucking you. I'm not having sex with you. That's first and foremost. Like, I'm not doing it. Second, I hate when they be like, like they'll tell you what they would do to you. Like, first of all, you have to be able to get there first. Are you able to are you even going to be able to get there? I don't think so. Because you already felt the first fucking mess of being clean. You got shit on your couch. I don't even like your room's small as fuck, but it's small as fuck and it's dirty. So you you felt the second cleaning part. And then you come in talking about what you gonna do to me. I do not like it. Like that turns me off so bad. Like it's it's, it's a big turn off for me. I don't like when niggas be like, I really tell you what. Like and we just talking. Like this is the first time I'm telling you. You tell me what you gonna do to me. If anything, I tell you what. It's like no. But I don't like it. Like it just it, it just I just do not like it. Like it just put me in a what are you doing? You doing too much type of thing. So he goes back downstairs. He comes back up and he like, I just have some milk in here. And he like basically just while your shoes not off and all this shit or whatever. So he's trying to lay up and I feel like, I don't know, when it was like, when I used to go see people when I was younger or whatever, I would always have a pain because like, you already know what niggas trying to do. So I would always be like, I always have an extra pad in my bag. Or I just come up with a, like, I just, I, a lot of times I'm not on my period. Or a lot of times I'll get my friend to call me and be like, girl, I need you to come here real quick. Da, 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 da. So this time it was the I'm on my period thing. So we turn on or whatever and he want to lay up and I'm just like, I don't know. It's just like, I'm not like really comfortable. So it's like, we just, I don't know. It's like, it's not relaxed. It's not comfortable. It's not like a relaxed thing or whatever. So... He was like, take these off. And I'm like, take what off? He like, come on, take these off. I'm like, no. He like, come on, just take them off. What are what are we taking my fucking pants off for? Because I'm not fucking you. Like. So he like, um, how was my hair? Because I remember, like, it was so weird. Because I remember when I left his house, the next day I came to school, some girl, some girl 
that that was in my class or whatever. She was fucking with one of his friends, and the one of the friends that was there. So I guess he basically said like, I don't know what the. I'm like, what is that? I don't know what he said, but it wasn't it was nothing what he said. Like it wasn't whatever he came up with because my friend's like, oh my name is my friend. I heard you was over there doing nothing. I'm like, okay, you heard what? You know, that's all I was. I was over there. We didn't do nothing. We didn't even kiss nothing. So I ended up leaving. I'm like, oh, I gotta go over there. So he like, all right, he mad. So I'm about to leave out his house or whatever. I'm looking at his stuff, and I feel like when you go see a boy, not even just when niggas, like just period, and people there. I feel like it's all the people saying that she actually did it in the room. Like, it's weird. I don't know, it's like a walk of shame. But it's not even a walk of shame because it's like we did not do it at all. So, he walked me to the door. My we was walking to the bus. I was going to get on the bus and go back home or whatever. Because, like, I could have walked back home, but, like, I was just out of the bus. I had that. So, he, we, before I even first came over there, I saw him, like, Basically, you gotta walk into the bus and you gotta do this or whatever. So I was, I don't know why I didn't get an Uber. I don't know, he just made me mad. So, we get to the door, he's walking me to the door, don't even walk me to the bus stop. And I'm like, okay, so you're not walking to the bus stop because you're mad I didn't let you bus So after that, we stopped talking, right? So he was texting me more and more or whatever and I just don't, I just don't respond to him or whatever. Because first of all, not even the fact that you thought I was gonna tell me, because I feel like all niggas think that, but the fact that you didn't walk me across the street to the bus stop because I did not have sex with you, like that's corny as hell, that's weird. So, um, later on or whatever, like later on, later on or whatever, I had seen him and he was like, why you stop texting me? You made it seem like I was a baby or whatever. And I'm like, low key, high key, you really is. Like starting off from when I first came to your house like like just from when I first stepped on your house when I first walked through the door and sat on your couch you was dirty and like I said the story time was gonna be real short because like it wasn't nothing to it like one like one thing really about me if I don't like somebody I just didn't talk to them at oh I'll go to them I'll cut them off or if you're doing too much and you being excessive I'm gonna tell you I don't like you and I'm gonna just like not be rude but I'm gonna be straightforward because sometimes niggas don't be it but before I end this it's another time that I want to go see somebody and they were so fucking dirty. So I want to go see this boy or whatever. Walked in the house, he had pets and the whole house smelled like pets. Like it stinks so bad. And I didn't even last one there. Like I feel like, but the first boy, I probably was there for like maybe, I probably honestly was there for 30 minutes. Like that's it. And I remember I was texting my friend and I'm like, girl, like I just was telling her. And this other boy I want to go see, I didn't even really want to go see him. I don't, if you don't have no car, I will not talk to you. Like, at first I wasn't like that, but it's like, if you don't have no car, I'm not like, we don't really have, not that we don't have nothing in common, but it's like, I'm not talking to you because it's like, I don't want to always put up on you. I'm not giving you no ride. Like, it's just a lot of stuff that I'm just not doing when it comes to men or, you know, people that I talk to or whatever. It's like, for me, at first I had to be like, you had to have a car. Now I got my own apartment and stuff. I don't really be like, you gotta live by yourself or you can't live with your mom because I just moved out of my mom's house. But then again, I was in school and I also had a daughter. But outside of that, I still move pretty quickly. So it was like, it used to be that it's not like, I feel like if they live by themselves, if they don't live by themselves, it's not the worst thing. But it's like, when you're working on like, you know, getting out, that's my thing. Cause like, you don't got no kids and you can I don't even see no kids. I mean, I don't, I try not to. Not, I don't. I try not to. But, um, you don't have no kids. You work. And it's like, why? You know, I, I just don't know. Now, the last one I was talking to, he did live with his mom, but he was like, he was in his shit. And he had plans of moving out of his mom's house. Like, he said he was not talking to his mom's house. He had his own car, he had his own shit going. So that's acceptable, but you just living at your mom's house, you don't have no car, or you got a car, and you just, I don't like that, because you're not moving in with me, and you're not about to move over, you're not always about to move here. First of all, nobody even gets my address, that's first and foremost. So, no, like, it's just, it's not going to work. But the boy I went to go see or whatever, he was living with his, I think mean, he was living with his brother. And I tell you, I walked in there, the house was just thing for me. It stunk so bad. Then we went upstairs to this, um, we went upstairs to this room. We sitting, he laying down, I'm sitting on the edge of the bed. And I'm just texting my friend, I'm like, girl, you need to text me, you need to call me, and you're like, hey, you're to me. so she did that or whatever. 
And before she did that, he was trying to get me to lay up. What I'm like, I don't know what it be. Like, I don't know, but I'm not laying up with you. Like, it's crazy. But it's really crazy how dirty you can be. Like, so this is the second time I looked at somebody and it was dirty as fuck. Like, oh my god. It stung so weird. Then he was talking about, um, do I want to smoke? If you know me, you know I don't smoke. One thing I smoke is this hookah. I do not smoke weed. I don't even do this. So it's just like, you know, I don't know. But like I said, it's gonna be a very quick first time. Um, only because I have two more videos to edit and I haven't posted in so long. Not so long, I haven't posted in five days. Really because, like, my stuff is actually real funny or whatever. So I'm like, I'm gonna do a quick story time. I mean, I don't really, I'm gonna do nothing. And I don't keep to. I'm not coming with a seven minute or anything. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna do the first thing. Because I don't know. But I think the next story time I'm gonna do is another hair story time. I feel like my story time is easy. I feel like my story time they be so good. And then I have another vlog, and then I have like another I have a little stuff to do, but I'm not gonna do it, a third video. So then I have three videos to edit. So to say this long, this story time, it wasn't as like, you know, but no story I think he had me was honestly, I'm not even gonna it. But if you stay this long, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I don't even know what to say after that. Like, that part would be so hard. All right. If you stay this long, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.